declutter part two. Let's go. So we're starting with primers. I hope you watched the first one because I'm not doing another intro. Let's go. <laughs> it is just, it's just really time here, isn't it? So like, yeah, if something looks like that, it's time to go. Bye. -bye. Yuck, it's like leaking everywhere. Yeah, so these are like primers and setting sprays basically. Exa, I didn't like this one and I don't ever use it. Like I think I might, I, I don't know. If, if it has absolutely no bearing on my short term memory, then it, I'm, it's gone. I'll pass this along to somebody. That other one is like gross. This was sent to me by Tom because Tom didn't really like it. So it's fine. It's just, this is the Ritual Defeat Thorn Milk, but the issue here is that it breaks down my sunscreen and I just can't have that. So I'm going to pass that along. I'm going to keep all of my vitamin enriched face bases from Bobby Brown. They do just keep sending them to me. Wow, this one got paint all over it. It's like special edition. I mean, these are pricey. I'll hold on to them. Maybe I'll bring one to Tom because I know that they love them and I have a lot, but I'm gonna hold on to them. The Milk Hydro Grip. I don't think that it's supposed to be that color and I've had this for ages. Like, I don't think it's supposed to be like algae green, you know? So I'm gonna get rid of that. Bio Brightener Priming Serum from Wall People. That's expired as heck. I'm gonna get rid of that. Can you tell I'm like not that attached to primers in general? Like I have no problem getting rid of them because I don't really use primers that much. Like the few that I use, like let's go ahead and say which ones I use. I use the heck out of the Dewy Skin Glass Glow Primer from Ciate. It's amazing. I use the heck out of the Chanel Eclat mm -mm, Rosy Light Drops. You know, French, me and French. I use the heck out of the Sika Pear Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. It's good for my skin. It's color correcting. It's a sunscreen. We love it. This is so strange. This Hero Cosmetics Force Shield because it's orange. Like I'm, I know that they all have tints to them, right? And that like you're supposed to kind of try and find the one that's tinted for you. But like, let me know. Is anyone looking for an orange SPF? Because that that ain't it. Declutter. I have two or glow lusts. One in Morganite and one in Selenite. And I'm gonna keep Morganite. Selenite I've had for a really long time. It's definitely expired and it doesn't work for me color-wise, whereas Morganite looks fantastic on me. Here we have the Surat Setting Mist. I've gotten some use out of this, but not enough to even really remember if I like it, but I wanna hold on to it because I know I've had it for just like this year. So keep going there. Wow, Vita Liberata Beauty Blur. I don't even know how long I've had that. I'm gonna get rid of that. If you don't know, let it go. This is a fantastic chemical sunscreen from Thrive, the Sunproof, because it actually elongates the wear time of your makeup, but I have been having a lot of trouble wearing chemical sunscreens, so I'm going to get rid of that. Here is the RMS Reevolve Radiance Locking Primer. This stuff is awesome, so I'm gonna hold on to that. I also wanna hold on to my MAC Strobe Cream. I don't know why. I don't know why, because I, I like the way it smells, okay? Let me have that. Okay, here is the Olivia Palermo Primetime Illuminating Serum. Tom just got a bunch of friend mail from someone that was including some Olivia Palermo stuff, and I knew that they're liking it, so I think I might take this with me and see if Tom wants it. It's really cool. Like, it's kind of purple, and it doesn't smell expired. It's a 12 month, that's, I've had it for longer than 12 months, but I'll see what Tom's opinion is. Here we have some Madagascar Centella. Why is it so sticky? Like what is, it did it, okay, I'm sorry. I'm decluttering this on the grounds that it's gross. And that's on me, but it's still gross. That's just a box. I, what is all over everything? What is this? Ew. Okay, this is the Kosas Plump and Juicy Spray, which is great stuff. It really is. So I'm gonna hold on to this. Here is the Beauty Pie All in Wonder Illuminating Primer, which I've had so long. It's really pretty, but it only comes in one shade and I've had it for so long. So I'm gonna declutter that. Another vitamin enriched face base. Gonna hold on to her. Another box. I just did a YSL reel, that's why. Oh, how I love my Phytosurgeon's Verdant Force Field, but I've had this way too long. I am so sorry. It's it's almost empty. I love this stuff. If you have not heard other people rave about the Verdant Force Field for Phytosurgeon's, like, it is fantastic. It's great under makeup. It's just a really, really good moisturizer, but mine is expired. Oh, look! 
a completely unopened all in wonder illuminating primer. Tom loves this kind of stuff. Maybe I'll bring that over to Tom. It's just rare that you find something totally unused, you know? All right, we have the Ease Droplet All Over Glow Enhancer. Another great little kind of rosy light drop situation. Very pretty, very serum -y and gorgeous. I'm gonna hold on to that, because why not? I haven't had it that long, I don't think. It's sort of inconsequential to me since I do love my rosy light drops so much. I have another one of these. Oh God, I don't know how long I've had these, jeez. Anyway, I'll hold on to both of them until at least the next declutter, I don't know. But yeah, I'm gonna hold on to the Fenty, just, just in case, I don't know. This is the Orbital Balm from Make Beauty. Wow, I put a mean hurting on that. I didn't realize I used that much of that. Yeah, so that's got a lot of bacteria in it. I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. I feel like I got my use out of it. This, I actually have another one in the package somewhere. Not used at all, but I got this in gifting from Johnny Concert. So, since I already have one, this is the Rituals Primer. It's just this really pretty kind of like shimmer goo, right? Boop. Bringing it to Tom. Tom, you're getting some primers today. This is the Surratt primer that like Hannah describes as, it's just kind of halfway in between everything, or maybe it's Tom, describes it as halfway in between everything that you might want from a primer. And again, I got so much Surratt stuff, I'm so grateful for it, but I got so much Surratt stuff all at once that it's like some of it I don't have my thoughts completely together on, so I'm gonna hold on to this. This, okay, so this is a little bit contentious because I think Golden, yeah, Golden is still in good shape. This is the Victoria Beckham by Augustinus Bader Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. This is golden and she looks fine and smells fine. I'm gonna hold on to golden, but every time I've tried to use the regular one, she just looks kind of crazy. <laughs> She's just being weird and like, like a curdly. It doesn't smell quite right. I think she's done. I think that my regular one is done. This looks bad. This looks bad, but like, I don't think it is. And I love this freaking SPF. I don't know, it's kind of a different color than it usually is. Yeah, it doesn't smell right. Darn it, I think I have to declutter this. This is the Tula Mineral Magic. This is like one of my favorite sunscreens. And then I deviated on a bunch of sunscreens and this one ended up in the primer drawer and I forgot about it and that's a shame. I need to buy a new one of these, but that one has to go. We have the Yenza Essential Glow Tone, Tone Up Primer with eight Super Blacks Essence. Let's see here. Whoa, it's got a color. Ooh, weird. Okay, so it's like more so than something like the Rosy Light Drops, like it has actual pigment to it. All right, I know this is relatively new and I kind of want to get my head around it. It seems fine. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Do y'all know anything about that one? Cause like, if you do, LMK. Okay, so. Why is that in my primer drawer? Probably because I, it, you know what I mean? It's like in Clueless where she's like, uh, kitchen? And he's like, that's where I kept it. Yeah, so the Jones Road Miracle Bomb, the clear Miracle Bomb is in here. All right, so we have a very old, and we have to be so careful about what we put on our eyes, but very, very old Urban Decay priming potion. I can tell this one's newer, but still, I don't really use primers. And if I do, it's the canvas color fluid from Hindash. So the last time that anyone sent me anything from Urban Decay is a very, very long time ago. So these are super old. I have a Bare Minerals. I'm just gonna like pass this along. It's completely unopened. This is their original foundation. So I'll pass that along. Some of these, really just this one. This was given to me by Natalie. You know, she just kind of had some PR that she wasn't using or whatever. And I have no idea how old this is, but it's fine. It's fine, but it's like not my favorite SPF. This is, ooh. <laughs> Ew! Okay, that's just really gross. Sun Silk Drops from Kula. Yeah, we're not, mm -mm, that just looked gross. This was sent to me by, I wanna say, Stylevana. This is a beautiful moisturizing primer. Look at it, look at that iridescence that it has, but I think, yeah, it smells so strongly of peach, which, I mean, you know, I don't really care about that. That's not a huge deal to me. I'm gonna hold on to this and see about integrating it some more into like my summer routine because, wow, that's so beautiful. It's so freaking beautiful. I have to be honest, I know I'm yucking somebody's yum here, but like the In Beauty Project, the face glaze, I just, it doesn't do for me what people claim that it does for them. I think it's more for people who have like a little bit less dry skin than I do. It's just not hydrating enough. It's like by the time I put on enough to get any hydration from it, I feel a little too disco ball-y. So I'm going to pass this along because I don't think it's that old. What's the, oh God, there's no expiration date on this. Lord in heaven, I have no 
idea. I don't know. I don't know. I kind of get the feeling I've had this for a really long time. I'm not sure I want anybody I know putting it on their face, you know? I think I'm gonna declutter it on the grounds of safety. Oh, Thrive, instant makeup fix, set and refresh spray. Thrive makes makeup that performs and I want makeup that makes me look like I'm not wearing makeup most of the time. And so this just didn't agree with me, but I'm gonna pass it along. Pretty sure this is expired. This is a really great under eye brightener. I like it because it's got a lot of like oil to it. It feels just very much like the Becca one or the one from Beauty Pie, but I'm pretty sure this is expired unfortunately, but it's really inexpensive. I can just buy another one. Jones Road. Jones Road, Jones Road. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? I'm not, I'm not trying to again yuck anybody's yum, but like I'll be honest, like I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't know why I'd want my face to be that sticky all day, every day. And y'all know I'm a big fan of like that dewy sweaty look, but like it's just so persistent. It's just such a persistent stickiness. I'm going to hold on to it on the grounds of same reason I'm holding on to the What The Foundation because it's weird and I don't want to buy it again when I can't remember what it feels like. Do you know what I mean? Because I know that I'm going to want to compare it to something later and I'm going to be like, what did that feel? I'm just going to hold on to it because it's expensive. And then we have this little freck thing, which is like shocking that I've kept a hold of it. And to be honest, like very old. Ooh, the brush is stiff. There's that. And also I've got the Berry Freckled pen from Rudy and I like it way better, so. And it's a lot easier to keep track of. So uh, yeah, that's getting decluttered on several grounds. So that means that I am decluttering. One, two, three, eight, 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 19 things. Ew, they're all sticky. I am passing along two, four, six, seven. And that means that I am keeping four, 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 Eighteen. I'm gonna pass along one of these. So seventeen and then eight. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. All right, powders. Let's go. Starting with this Charlotte Tilbury powder. I don't get the appeal. I'm going to pass this along. ColourPop no filter setting that I have never opened. Passing that along. Wow, I only have about 15 of these. This is the Laura Mercier long, long name. Real, flawless, luminous, perfecting pressed powder. I gave one to Tom. I have one for myself and then I have one still in the box. I don't know, pass them along. I know I don't like it. We've got the Melt Cosmetics powder that is just so bad. It's so bad, it's just this heavy, Highlighter, it's just awful. Pass that along to somebody else who wants to be miserable. Typology, y'all made a powder that is dark. It's just so yellow. So I'm going to pass that along. It's just not for me. And there was another one that is too, Cover Curl? Oh God, good grief. Why do I even have that? Pass that along. I'm gonna hold on to the Laura Mercier because it's just a staple. It's just like a thing that you need to be able to measure things by. Going to pass along this weird hydro blast. In fact, I kind of feel like because it's got the wetness to it, I don't know, someone's gonna wanna experience that. Just not me. I was gonna say maybe it's a little bit contaminated, but like, meh. Bare Minerals, Original Mineral Veil, they love to send me, this is translucent, suppressed setting powder. I feel like I already have one of these. They love to send me the wrong color in their powder foundation, but this is just translucent. Oof, I definitely already have one of these. Yes, I do, okay. Yes, so we're gonna put this back in the box and pass it along. It's just, I don't understand Bare Minerals. They send me stuff all the time and it's never the new releases. And I'm like, what I wanna do is review your new releases. I do not need powder foundations in the wrong color. And it's like not an ungrateful thing. It's like, just don't send me anything at all, but like sending me the wrong stuff is very unhelpful. So. Yeah, wrong, like wrong. That's just the wrong color, you know? And I know they have a color for me. I mean, I assume they do, so pass that along. Here is their ivory in their original foundation. Too dark for me. I have two of these. They were gifted to me. I'm gonna get rid of one of them because it's still in the package. This is a really great little powder. It looks like nothing because it's, you know, in this tiny little container, it kind of undersells it, but at the same time, I really liked this. This is the Skin Food Peach Powder and I'm deeply bothered by the tag on the top. Deeply bothered by that. In fact, that's gonna keep me from using it. So I'm gonna pass that along. I just, I have a thing with stickers and tags. This is the Thrive Powder. It is expired and we're going to get rid of it. We have my 
Kosas, which believe it or not, the ugliness there is actually conveying how much I love this and how much I use it because it is the main powder that I use. I'm obsessed with it and you'll pry it from my cold dead hands. Oh my God. I feel like I bought this really recently, but I don't think it was that recent. Like, look at it. Yeah, this is the super powder from Well People. There was a time in my life when I used this in every single makeup look and it's just, that's, it's not that time anymore. So I'm going to declutter that. We have the Make Beauty powder. This is great great stuff. I'm going to hold on to this for a little while longer. And regardless, you'd want to keep the component because the whole pan comes out. All their stuff is replaceable, which is great. Oh, this is the kind of original Uma powder that has the little twisty guy. This is so mattifying. Like it's just not for me. You know what I mean? This is just not a formula that's for my skin. So pass that along. This is the Amicole, another black owned brand that is making things that are probably fantastic for people who need more oil control. And I am not the one that they had in mind making these formulas. So it's super, super blurring, but like really mattifying. So not for me. Another Bare Minerals that doesn't match me. Pass it along. Perfectly usable. I'm going to hold on to these. I don't know. I tried using it and it was fine. This is the Shantikai Lotus Perfect Blur Glow Powder. You know what I might do? I think I'm gonna bring this to Tom because I know that they love the other one and I wanna see if this is the same or if it's a different formula and I've barely, I mean, barely used it. So this goes in the Tom pile. Tom of it! Oh, this is the translucent powder from Bare Minerals. I don't really know why, but I'm gonna hold on to it. It's fine, I don't use it, but whatever. This is this NARS light reflecting crystal powder. I still do not totally understand this powder but I want to understand this powder. So I'm going to hold on to it. Doll 10, Doll 10. This is completely unopened. I'm going to pass this along. Doll 10 just didn't blow my mind. I know Tom will want this, the brightening powder from Charlotte Tilbury. So bring that to them because it's just not my thing. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping this because it's my favorite. Uh, besides the Kosas, this is pretty much number 1.5, you know, on the list. This is the Prism Libre. Voile Rosé, Voile Rosé. I love it so much and obviously I'm keeping it. This is the Sephora powder. This is like the one thing that I bought from the Sephora collection that I didn't totally love. And it's just because it's made for someone else. So passing that along. I have the Wouter for some reason. I'm gonna keep it. It's one of those things where it's like I keep buying it so that I can remember what it does. So I'm not just, I'm not gonna get stuck in that loop. We have, ooh, I put some Danessa Myricks down on top of this, some of her Milky Way and it never came off. But this is the House Labs powder and this stuff is great. It's just great. Sorry, headphones wearers. I had a moment. It is really good. Here is the diffusion set in the next deeper color. I'm going to pass that along. I have a replacement of the Kierweiss powder. This is great stuff. Loves to hard pan. It's its favorite thing to do, but I'm gonna hold on to it because I bought it. Here we have Breezy. This is the next deeper shade from Kosas. I'm gonna pass that along because it's too dark for me. We have the Mob Beauty powder, which I have used, but I haven't gotten a chance to review yet. So I'm probably gonna do an updated Mob Beauty review or like get ready with me with other stuff pretty soon. So I'm gonna keep that. This is, oh, I love this stuff. This is the Rare Beauty powder, highly recommend. Very, very beautiful. This is, oh, this is the Ciate powder. I can tell by looking at it. I remember it being more mattifying than I need it to be. So it's, you know, one of those super blurring, very mattifying powders, very much like like the Ami Cole or the Oma. So I'm gonna pass that along. The Westman Atelier one, which like, I just don't wanna buy again. So I'm going to hold on to it, but it didn't really impress me. I have one of those Becca under eye correctors. I mean, beauty pie under eye correctors, but oh boy, that's old. I'm gonna get rid of that. Also, this is from hell. Um, this was conjured from the depths of hell. This is the Laura Mercier translucent pure setting spray 16 hour. This is hairspray. I almost ruined my Finding Ferdinand photo shoot because I thought that I had brought Mac Fix Plus and I kept spraying it on my face, trying to soften my contour and things like that and putting it on my brushes. And I ended up having to completely wash my face and start over and knew had to go to her house and get me some Urban Decay All Nighter because this is super glue. It is the best hairspray I've ever used. Goodbye. No one needs that. Oh, Beauty Pie put out a powder. Yeah, that's fine. It's old. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then we have, oh, an e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is one of those ones where it's like, I keep it around because everybody's always like, oh, well, isn't the Halo Glow a dupe for, you know, fill in the blank? And I'm like, I don't know. Let's find out. And I just don't wanna like rebuy it. So I just keep it. And then we have 
my hourglass ambient lighting palette thing. I think at some point in my life I'm going to get around to enjoying this. I'm gonna hold on to it. I just like hourglass. That means we are decluttering two, three, five things, only three of which are powders. We are passing along for and 23. Literally all of these I acquired this year. That is hilarious. So I'm passing along 23. And I am keeping 14, baby. Oh, babies. <laughs> It's time for powder blushes. And I am going to go ahead and say, this is gonna be kind of graded on different grounds. It's like, is it relevant? I'm gonna keep stuff that's relevant even if I don't use it. Even if I don't love it, if it's relevant, I'm gonna hold on to it because I like to think of myself as a bit of an archivist and an expert, especially in blush formulas. So it's like, even if it's not like a mind blowing formula, this is just something that remains swollen in my collection and always will. And I've come to terms with that. Blush, yes, and a blush exploded from Emma. That happened. So there's just gonna be little bits, bits of blush everywhere, unfortunately. I love this and I, I love it and I love it. This is the hourglass from this year. I love it. Oh, Patrick Ta. Patrick, Patrick, Patrick. You know, while I liked these, A, I'm pretty sure they're expired as all get out. B, I know how I feel about them. They are more pigmented than the other ones. Yeah, I already know how I feel about them and I can tell you that without having to swatch them, so I'm going to declutter them. <sighs> the M Cosmetics ones. I just was, I'm sorry, I still live in the world of not that impressed, you know? They're cool, but like, they're all too shimmery for me. They're all too pigmented for me. So I'm gonna pass these along because they're beautiful and they're barely used. I have a couple of Essence blushes. I don't know why I shop at the drugstore. I don't know what I'm trying to prove. I don't want any of it. All right, keeping all the Make blushes because I love them. I just love them. They're great. They sent me the whole set and I'm grateful for that and they're just relevant. Okay, so keeping those. Buxom Wanderlust. Um, I feel nothing about that. I'm going to pass that along. Kimchi. Oh, geez, good grief. I have no idea. I think I've used this once, maybe swatched it. I'm gonna pass that along. Sigma. The powder blushes don't really do anything for me. I like the creams, but this can go. This was probably the only Patrick Ta one that I thought was like really remarkable that they made a powder blush in like this deep berry. It's cool, but like, I don't need it. These little Clinique guys, I think they're expired. They're really, yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> that can go because that's the kind of thing that just ends up becoming a disaster in my collection. And that's not the fault of the product. I'm just really, really brutal to my makeup. Laura Geller sent some stuff this year and I just, you know what? That's beautiful to look at. And I'll be honest, I just don't really get it. It's really shimmery. It's fine, but I'm gonna pass that along. I'm going to pass along PYT because PYT, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. They are uh, unalived this year, so pass that along, but that's brand new. Let's see, Surat, Surat. Yeah, I'm gonna hold on to that because it's freaking gorgeous, obviously. My Pat McGrath blushes, my Pat McGrath blushes. You know what? My Pat McGrath blushes, I love them so much. The bronzers can go though, oh boy. I'm gonna pass those along because they're pretty new, but God, I don't know what it is. I just, it just didn't translate. But yeah, they're blood, mm, flirtatious. Yum, 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 yum. Hold on to them. I just feel like there's gonna be another phase in my life where I just like get back into Pat McGrath blushes. I love them. These <laughs> are covered in everything right now, but these are my Chanel Equinox blushes from this fall and I love them so very much. They might be my like favorite blushes that I own right now. So they smell lovely. There is blush everywhere. I'm like kind of pissed off about it. Like over in this area that you can't see off camera, it's bad. Okay, keeping those, what are you? Oh, ooh, a contour and a highlight. This is Grisaille and something else from Surat. So they're in the wrong drawer, but I'm holding on to them nonetheless. This is Dior Rosy Glow in Rosewood and it is a pretty stinking close dupe to NARS Dolce Vita powder. And honestly, this formula just doesn't really impress me. Like something happened when they reformulated it where it just doesn't really work anymore. Like it's just instant hard pan for me. Ugh, I don't know, but like, look at that. Like if I want that color, I guess they're kind of different. 
but still. Oh, darn it. You know, it's relevant. I don't like it, but it's relevant. I'll hold on to it. All right, we have Armani here in 10, which is like the best beige ever. And that's just on the website. Just on the Armani website, as far as I know. Then I have Armani in 50, which is beautiful. This is like a better version of NARS orgasm to me. Gorgeous. I believe this is the Oma that exploded. No, it's not, but... Just on the grounds of your friend's behavior, you're out of here. The Gucci, these are a really good example of something that like I am not interested in. How do you make it go? There we go. You know what I mean? I don't really care about these. The, the packaging is beautiful, but I'm gonna hold on to them because they're relevant, you know, because people have them and they want me to swatch things against them, but do I like them? No. I'm going to keep all of my RMS. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is the prettiest formula. I love them so much and I still don't even own all of them. I want the like really melon colored one. They didn't send me that one. I bought, did I buy any of these? Yeah, I bought the first few. I bought like Maiden's Blush, I think, but they've sent me a bunch since. And this is the highlighter. I don't understand the highlighter. I can't pick it up on a brush, but it's nice to look at. But yeah, Maiden's Blush and Crystal Slipper are like bananas. They're so good as you can tell. And the component pops out. It's not magnetic, but it pops out and you can replace it. All of you, Shantae. Hey, y'all stay. Rum and rum and I have to admit like this kind of stuff, it, I don't get it. I mean, I get it. I get why it exists. It's just not for me. I, this is the, you know, the K-beauty stuff that's like so wildly lightly pigmented and like actually so fair, like cool. Not really my thing. But it is kind of funny because it's like really similar, I feel like, to Bliss here from Shantikai. Wow, those are really similar. Wait a second, wait a second. We're down a rabbit hole. Okay, yeah, see, even Bliss is a little bit more beige. And this is a little bit more of that kind of like cool pink. It's just not something I'm ever gonna reach for, you know? I occasionally reach for Bliss, but I don't think there's any reason to hold on to it. It's old. I bought the Energy Blush from Tarte because it's so similar to Dior Rosy Glow in 001 Pink, which is also really similar to the Prism Libre Blush from Givenchy. I know this is giving everyone anxiety, I'm sorry. In Mousseline, look at those. Ooh, ooh, do we want swatches? Let's do this. All right, we got Givenchy, which is like, you know, kind of hard to swatch because it's a loose powder. The Dior, which is gonna just be always pretty sheer. And then that's the one from Tarte, which they're all about the same price. And then we have that, which is Dreamwalk from Kaleidos. Are these even in frame? Are they in frame? I didn't know we were doing a deep dive on fluorescent blushes here, but here's Dreamwalk. Yes, you cannot go wrong with any of those. They're all the same color. They're all coming for the same idea. But if you want my recommendation, you want my opinion, I think that the Givenchy is superior. But this is a very affordable option. Fell in love with Hunter. Okay, and then after all that, like what am I keeping, right? I'm gonna keep the Givenchy and the Dior. The rest can fade into obscurity as far as I'm concerned. I will just pass those along. I'm gonna pass along all my Kaleidos blushes. Like they're fine, you know, they're pretty, but like this packaging offends me and that's why I don't reach for them. This is a Tom Ford blush from when I tried Tom Ford for the first time. And you know what? It does that thing where it puts the little red splotches on my face and I don't like it so I'm passing it along. I like this. This is among some of my favorite coral situations. This is from LH Cosmetics. I'm gonna hold on to this. You can tell that I'm just impressed by her formulas because I put up with her packaging. I mean it goes a long way. More make blushes, more Gucci. I'm Cosmetics ones. Those are getting given away. Okay, okay. Let's talk about bare minerals here because I was less than impressed with the way that the new shades in this formula performed. I used to really love these, but I feel like the new mauve and spice are so eyeshadowy. Like they're so intensely, look at that. Like they really behave like eyeshadows, which is interesting because that's the same thing that I say about the RMS ones, but there's something about the RMS blushes that is so much more manageable than these. These are patchy. So I don't know. I mean, I just kind of have fallen out of love with them, but we're talking about relevance here. These are relevant and they're going to remain relevant. So I'm going to hold on to them for relevancy's sake. That's it. That's it though. Here we have, ooh, such a beautiful color of the uh, Armani blush. 
30 coral color. This is a, this whole collection was shimmery. Oh, okay, you know, she, she arrived broken and she will leave broken. Some of us, that's just our lot in life. Here's Kiss of Rose. Shantae, you stay for relevance reasons. Ooh, this doesn't exist anymore and you'll pry it from my cold dead hands. This is the Armani Neo Nude in 20 and it's just lovely. And if for no other reason than to like hunt down a dupe for it at some point. And this I believe is, yes, the culprit, the empty component from Uma. Goodbye. Incandescent Electra. I, you know what? This is from Hourglass. I am going to visit Tom. Tom's friend Kristen loves a pink blush. Loves a pink blush. So I'm going to bring this to Kristen because it's like barely used. Yeah, Garnet Pop. It's not popping out of the container. I'm just, I'm still, it's expired. The new Sephora ones, you know what? I'm pretty impressed with these. And like from moment to moment, I can't remember which one I'm impressed with more. So I'm going to keep both of them. Plus they're really small and easy to keep. Beauty pie, beauty pie. Yeah, this is expired and it was fine. Let me get rid of that. Keeping all my Pat McGrath, wait, was this the bronzer? Yeah. That can go, that can go. That can go over here though, it's like new enough. Another Givenchy Prism Libre blush, holding onto you because you're gorgeous. This is cute, but like I have no real use for it. The K-Beauty stuff, I think it's cool, I think it's cute, it's just not for me. And so I'm gonna pass this along. Uh, what is this? Another Papagraph blush, that is so pink though. What is that one? That's Divine Rose 3. Hmm, yeah, it's kind of a soft rose. Okay, I'll keep it. We have the Dior Rosy Glow in Coral, which is hard pan as I'll get it out and it is extremely similar to this one. So, I mean, I hold on to them for comparison's sake, but do I love this? No. Do I recommend it? No. I like the Givenchy better. Too Faced. This is such a beautiful package and such an unremarkable formula. I'm going to get rid of it. We have Milani Luminoso, which is like the only drugstore product that I will consistently actually hold on to and use. So I keep that. PYT. Oh well, oh well, she's out of here, baby. If you don't get that reference, go watch pretty much any of the appropriately unhinged recaps of the TV shows from Mike's Mike, but I'm pretty sure I know at least the Pretty Little Liars ones, he does that, so. Yep, this can go. This is a Shantikai blush. This is when I was like, you know, buying every Shantikai release. For what reason? For what reason? And for who? So we also have Wayne Goss. This was such a good release. And these are gorgeous, they are, but like they're also really expired. Okay, nine months. Yeah, time to go. Time to go, baby. Okay, M Cosmetics. These are these kind of funny little putty blushes. And while they're fine, it's, it's not something that's super relevant to me, so I'm gonna pass that along. They're brand new. This is a lawless powder that is hard panned as all get out, goodbye. Here is the Sagrado blush from Prados. It's fine, it's fine. It's a pretty blush, but I'm gonna pass that along. And then we have this, my mother wants this. My mother wanted this. I need to give this to my mother. So that's gonna go to, this is from House of Siage. Oh, and then we have one of the prettier, like peachy coral blushes out there in the world. So I think it's relevant regardless, but I do really like it. And this is the makeup by Mario Creamy Peach. This is a nightmare. I don't know what I'm about to do about this. Ugh, ugh, come on, Emma. Unfortunate, y'all are just gonna have to put up with my mess. I have to incinerate this thing later. Okay, so that means 15 that are getting decluttered, baby, goodbye. 27 that are getting passed along to new homes and we are keeping it fixed. And fucking 46. We're keeping 48 blushes, powder blushes. It's pretty good. All right. I don't know if you can tell by the looks of things, but like, I'm on my last leg for decluttering today. This is gonna be the last category, but don't you worry, friends. It's a doozy. It's the one that you've probably been waiting for. Cream blushes. Let's go. I'm terrified. I'm like trying to be excited and I'm terrified. Oh God, I don't know how long I've had most of these is the problem. <sighs> like when was the last time Thrive sent me a bunch of blushes? Like I don't know. And they have, okay, so the bronzers are new. 
So I'm gonna donate all the bronzers that don't match me, but the blushes, I have no idea. I think I have to get rid of the blushes. Mob Beauty, that's easy, keeping that, because it's brand new. I am literally sitting in so much Oma blush right now. Mmm, my cashmere is screaming. Yeah, like Kaisa candy. Y'all gotta be decluttered just on the grounds of I don't know how long I've had you, and I'm sorry. And if anybody tells me to start sticking stickers on the bottom of my stuff to keep track of how long I've had it, you must be new here. You can suggest that all you want, and yes, that is a solution that would make sense, but I'm not going to do it because it's not who I am. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna get rid of the Victoria Beckham ones because I never liked them in the first place and now they are expired. I'm going to donate all of the NARS ones because they are so forgettable and I bought all of them. I gave one to my sister and I think I gave one to Steph, maybe? I hope I did because she did really like one of them, but either way, they're getting donated. Donated. MAC totally synced. I'm gonna be honest, y'all, unpopular opinion. I don't think the glow play blushes are like that great. They're fine, but they're hard to use and they disturb my makeup and it keeps me from using them. So B, cream blushes from Sigma are quite lovely and these are quite new. So I'm gonna hold on to those. I just like using them. I'm gonna hold on to the Trini London stuff just cause I don't know, it's like kind of cool. Like the more I use it, the more impressed by it I am, but like also it's a little bit like weird and I don't know. I don't know. I still don't have my head fully around it. Uh, Summer Fridays, this, uh, I feel nothing. I feel nothing about this. I'm gonna pass that along. I'm gonna keep all of, well, that's actually not true. Cause I have, a, they like love to send me more of these. As you can see, the YSL balmy tints. So it's like, I have two of a lot of colors. Two of the new pinch. So I will take one of them. They're like both the same age, basically. I would take one and donate it and one and keep it. And then I definitely have two of the new chills, but I will hold on to this because it's good. They're really good. These are also really good. These are the Chanel Lip and Cheeks. I just like them. Probably expired, but I don't care. I like them and I'm keeping them. Yeah, I'm gonna lose the glow play here. They're just not, oh yeah, and they do that sometimes. I had a moment, you know? Eros, that's just a good weird one. I'm gonna keep that. That's from Ritual Defeat. Another Ritual Defeat here is Eros. Whoa, I have two Eroses? Is one new and one not new? Wow. When you buy something because you don't know you already have it, that's not good. I'm gonna get rid of this one. This That means this one's expired. I think I thought I didn't have it because it's so old. Holding on to her. I love these. These are the Violette Bisou blushes. I love them and they smell so good. They expire, they expire, but I will probably, if I buy another one, it will be the like peachy one. Persona, okay, so we are keeping, these are two Persona jams, both of which are slightly used, just swatched. I'm gonna pass those along, but I'm gonna keep the ones that I love when I do come across them, which are agave, agave? Guava and Mojave, which is why I said agave, because if you put guava and Mojave together, I feel like you get a problem. So here are some things from Milk, just in the box. Kind of pass those along. I don't really love that formula. These Say blushes, you know, they're fine. It's actually probably one of the only things from Say that I was like really impressed by, but they are expired as all get out. The product that makes me the angriest because I love it so much. This is the Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand. I will probably finish this, to be honest. So I'm gonna keep both of those. I could not give less of a damn about the Glowgasm Beauty Light Wands. I don't understand the appeal and so I will pass that along. They're fine. Like they're fine. I'm gonna pass along also the Ami Cole ones. They are just not made for my, what in the what? That's pretty, wait. I kinda wanna keep using that one. This one is like too, it's too everything for me. It's just a lot, but I wanna keep that brown one. That's pretty. Alrighty, cool fee. These are cool but they don't work for Fee, I mean me. There was like one color that works for me and these two are like wildly, why can't I stay in frame? These two are wildly pigmented for me, so I'm going to pass those along. Fortunately, we are back in the territory of, I have lab samples from Aether and Aether is no longer, so those must go. This is one of the more beautiful things that's ever happened to our world. These are the color fluids from Hindash. This is rising, absolutely gorgeous. So so holding on to that, more aether. Oh God, y'all, I have had these 
for so long. I really think it's time to get rid of all the Tower 28 blushes. I've had them for so long, like a gross amount of time. Same goes for the Daniel Sandlers. Yeah, they are 18 months nonetheless. I've had them for way too long, so those need to go. Same thing with the Fenties. I, like, I've had these for so long. It's just time. It's just time to go. This is, ooh, this is Mimi. This is like one of the best blushes of all time. TBH, just love it so much. So gonna hold on to her from West Montpellier. Which by the way, y'all, if you were to pronounce that word with a French accent, which you know I'm not very good at, it'd be atelier, but that's an E, not an I. It's not atelier, it's atelier. Even if you're pronouncing it just with a normal American accent, atelier, not atelier. 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 That is my pet peeve. Okay, anyway, here is a Make Beauty Heat Stroke Blush in slush. It's quite pretty, but I'm going to pass it along to someone who likes purple more than me. I am kind of on the fence about these guys because like they're really, ooh, okay, well that's gonna go. And it's like if I don't have the full set, this is the about face. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's time for those to go. Like they're pretty, but like only about half of them were even usable for me. Oh, I bought this over the summer. This is another shade of the Chanel and this is in that beautiful coral, but it's like their corals do lean a little bit pink. I actually gave my, it's supposed to be coral, but there's a kind of pinky coral lip gloss from Chanel. I gave it to my sister. Here we have, speaking of coral things, I think this is, yeah, Miami Beach, which is, this is the first one that I've actually like cared about that I liked from Jones Road. And it's pretty. I can see myself like using that maybe at some point, but I'm gonna hold on to it in the meantime. More Sigma Blush Coral Dawn. This one's gorgy, porgy. I'm gonna hold on to that. Getting rid of all the Tower 28s, getting rid of all the old a I'm gonna hold on to all my Rare Beauty ones because this is just kind of like a party favorite thing when people come to my house, honestly. Like, everybody just picks one and takes it home with them. This is ABH Latte, which is a dead ringer for Mimi from Westman Atelier. And I'm going to hold on to that as well, just for references sake. Ooh, wait, what is this? Believe, Rebecca, Rebecca, that could be so for you because Rebecca took my other purple that was a little bit like more plummy and deep. That is Wow, that's pretty. That's so pretty. Rebecca, you might not get that. <gasps> Ooh, what's that? Love. Love is really pretty from Rare Beauty. It's kind of like virtue is a desaturated version of love. Love is a little bit more rusty. So pretty though. I do like these. Is this the one? Yes, Sandalwood Swirls from Coolfee is the only one that really like worked for me and it's in kind of this rusty color. Actually, it's rosier. Huh, it's, you know what, it's fine. It's fine as a color, but I thought it was gonna be more like the package, like rustier, so I'm gonna pass that along. Tom and I had a moment in one of the podcasts recently where we talked about like rust blush and how like it needs to be everywhere. Bye. These are done. The puff paints from Natasha Denona, they're expired. More aether, what is this? This is a special edition, I believe, of Petal that they gave me, I don't know, last year from West Montpellier. I'm gonna hold on to it. It's pretty. I think I decluttered my other Petal in favor of that one. We have the Makeup by Mario blush sticks. You know, they're a great value and everything, but like, they're just not really relevant anymore. I'm gonna get rid of those. Definitely going to get rid of these Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer blushes because they're not good. Another Say blush, which is both expired and underwhelming. We have, oh, I do love these. these are the so soft blushes from M Cosmetics, but how long? Yeah, 12 months. I've had these way too long. They're so pretty. Demure. I mean, get real. Look at that color. Look at it. <gasps> oh, it's gorgeous. But I mean, it really looks a lot like Latte and Mimi and stuff like that. And like, you know, they're pretty, but they're expired. Now we have Parfait and we have Barba Papa. Barba Papa and Cantaloupe from. Surat. Now, Parfait is coral? Ooh, yeah, so like that stays with me. Cantaloupe is, whoa, orange, very pretty, stays with me. And Marble Papa is uh, Tom's favorite. And I'm gonna bring that to Tom. Actually, Tom likes the Barba Papa, and I know that we're saying it wrong. Powder, I don't know if they like the cream version. I'll ask, but I'm gonna hold on to it. Aha, here is a new, new chills. I'm gonna pass that along, because I have two. I'm going to hold on to all of my Finding Ferdinand blushes, because I made them. 
and I love them. Oh, this one is actually, this is not one that I made. Oh yeah, no, she's done. I'm gonna get rid of that one. But all the ones I made, holding on to them, that can go. Whoa! This is not mold. It's just the way that the waxes kind of like mature over time. But I think I have a newer version of Swelter from Photosurgeons. And this one can go. What do we have here? Kaleidos. Yeah, this never did anything for me and it's in the wrong drawer. So bye. Simmer, not shimmer. Simmer. Yeah, we have new versions of the ones that I love and those are the ones I'm going to hold on to. The rest are expired. Okay, these are a case. I don't know why I keep leaning forward so much. These are a case of not translating well to another color story because I love love the Makeup by Mario skin enhancers, but these are the blushes and the blushes just don't work. The formula doesn't translate. I'm going to pass these along because they're pretty darn new. These, it's time to go on both of them. These were some of my first experiences with Danessa Myricks and I think that they're lovely, but they're both expired. I'm gonna hold on to my tulip tints here from Bloom Effects. If I can get the freaking Oma blush off of them. They're really pretty. And I have a bunch of these, so I'm going to hold on to them. They are beautiful. They're really subtle. Oh, this is another case with typology of I don't know how long I've had these and it's probably been a really long time, so I need to let those go. Gonna hold on to my CL blushes. I like them and they're pretty new. Gonna hold on to my House Labs blushes, which are beautiful. I love them a lot. I'm going to get rid of another Tower 28. It's like I can't even tell them apart anymore. You know, I think it's time. I've had the Melt Cosmetics ones for so long. I think that they are for sure donezo. Bye bye Fenty. Keeping Hourglass Loyal. This is one that I bought this year and I love it. You know, I'm just on a continual beige blush kick. So that one stays. This is Dibs Beauty. While I think it's good, I'm never gonna reach for it. So I'm going to pass that along. This is another Phytosurgeons. This one's pretty new. This is Exothermic. I'm gonna hold on to that. It's like you can tell if there's a sticker on the lid. It's old. It's old. Gonna get rid of those. That's an old smolder. Condensate, honestly, one of the best ever. Gonna hold on to that. I have a new Inferno. Here's a newer Evaporate. I'm gonna hold on to that. And here's Fume. Yeah, she's. it's time to go on Fume. Okay, all of the ones that are like the milk packaging, they sent these from the vault. I kept the ones I wanted, you know, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pass the rest along. Here's Virtue. This is the best, in my opinion. This is the best Rare Beauty blush. Oh my God, it's the prettiest color in the world. It's like a super muted coral. Ridiculous. Okay. You know, more Finding Ferdinand, holding on to those. Hey Beauty, you know, it's cute, but like this was, it was fine. I don't know, it's hard for me to get into it. I don't know why. I'm gonna pass that along. We got some Yenza Cream Blush, which was, if I recall, it just wasn't, what is going on here? It just wasn't my color? What is going on? Okay, there we go. Ew, okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. It's all like melted and stuck together. These still don't impress me. I don't get it. They are the color drops from M Cosmetics. I think they even reformulated them and I just, I can't get into them. The Upsolite blushes from Danessa Myricks. They're just not really for me. So I'm gonna get rid of those. The Ritual Defeat, that is expired, but that is Desire. It's a beautiful shade. Oh my God. It's finally time to say goodbye. I'm sorry to the Cloud Paint and Eve. It's also time to say goodbye to my Lisa Eldridge blushes. They are super old. Same goes for this type Apology. going to hold on to, wait, do we hold on to that? The M Cosmetics ones, I'm passing those along. They are new enough, but I'm not interested. These are very new. These are the ones from Honest Beauty. I guess I'll hold on to that. I'm going to keep my Cure Weiss ones because they're just lovely. Those are beautiful. Getting rid of more about face here. I like this one a lot. This is one of my favorite blushes, honestly. I love this delivery system. I love this color. This is mood. It's beautiful. Getting rid of all my Fenty's because they are expired. I honestly think that these are expired too. How long do they last? 12 months, yeah. The Milk Makeup, the Bionics, they're beautiful, but these are done. I don't want to put those on my face anymore. Here is a Milani. Done. I don't even know how long I've had that. Here is another. Aha! This is Wanderlust. This is the one that I want to give to Steph. I think that she really liked that one. I'm not sure. Either way. Giving away my NARS. Giving away make. Not make. Milk. These are old. They were cool, but these are like color science sunscreen blushes, but they are expired. This is one of the prettiest colors of anything. This is the Iris and Romeo stick. And I don't know how long I've had this. I've had this since Texas, and that means that it is done. <sighs> Another gorgeous color right out of the gate is the, ugh, 
Jones Road one. This is pretty. Look at that. It's like this beautiful kind of like desaturated mauve. My head keeps getting in the frame. I don't know what's wrong with my setup today, but um, yeah, I'm gonna hold on to this. I think it's beautiful. We are done. Yeah. This one doesn't even, the component doesn't work anymore. This is the Makeup by Mario bronzer. I'm gonna get rid of that. Keeping Hindash Color Fluid in Hardest. It's just lovely. Keeping, again, Bliss there. I was right, Bliss is really pretty. I'm gonna get rid of this Kaja one just because I don't have even all of the pieces to it. Like, goodbye. Gen C, what are these? These are blushes. Are these pretty? I mean, are we impressed? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think we're gonna pass those along to someone who will actually get some use out of them. Wow, you wanna talk about unimpressed. These little cream blush friends from Charlotte Tilbury. That is the goopiest thing. What a pretty color, but it's so goopy. But I think it's relatively new. I'm gonna hold, I'm not hold on to it, but I'm gonna donate it. I think it's still donatable. I'm gonna hold on to Violette. This is the one that I love the most. This is Louise. It's ridiculously pretty. Love it. I think that this is done. This is the Danessa Myricks bread and butter. I'm gonna declutter that. Inferno, yeah, she's done. Fume is brand new. I'm gonna hold on to that. And then here we have Guava. Oh my God, it's so good. I love it so much from Persona. And the M Cosmetics ones can go. Melt one, did I say that? That can also declutter. This is fairly new. This is a K-Beauty or J Beauty little blush thing in a nail polish bottle. I'm amused, but I'm not interested. And so that gets passed along. And then we have another almost unused kiss from Persona and that can be passed along. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I'm cold. So let's do the final count here for the blushes. And this will be the final category for today. So, Seventy eight that I am decluttering and thirty eight that I am donating, giving to new homes, and I am keeping. Sixty nice. Keeping sixty nine. That was for you, Lizzie. Uh, yep, Kevin, 69 cream blushes. That's huge for me. That might not be the only drawer of cream blushes. That just occurred to me. That number just feels low. Oh yeah, there's more. Hold please, we have to finish this out. There's not that many more, hang on. Okay, there's just a handful more. They were in another, another drawer. Just a couple, just a couple here. More than most humans own. All right, goodbye to Aether. Goodbye to Melt, goodbye to Milani. This will go quick. Goodbye to all the Melt. I'm gonna pass along Trixie. I'm going to pass along Mario. I'm going to keep Honest Beauty. Woo! Yeah, Natalie gave me this. This is Minette. Yeah, and it's like sparkly, but I'm gonna keep it from West Metallier. Wait, what's that? Classique! Ooh, okay, so this is what Tom was saying that Kristen wanted, so uh, confirmed. Confirmed, I have Classique, and Kristen, you got lucky today. So that's going to Kristen. Daniel Sandler, all expired. And all these colors, unfortunately, are also expired from Thrive. Typology, very expired. Storm Cloud Paint from Glossier. Keeping Rare Beauty, keeping Violette. Keeping this little baby Kier Weiss. Keeping, oop, not that, bye Simmer. Getting rid of About Face, getting rid of M Cosmetics, yeah. Keeping, this is beautiful. That's another Believe? I don't know, keeping it from Rare Beauty. Keeping, ooh, that's pretty. I think these are really old though. Ooh, ooh, really old. Okay, getting rid of old Finding Ferdinand, keeping my current Finding Ferdinand. Getting rid of old Cloud Paint. This, I knew there was a reason there was a lid floating around somewhere. Getting rid of this, throwing that out from Milk. More of the SPF blush, it's expired. Kierweiss, what are you? Ew, I'm gonna keep the component, but either I'm not, like, it's not for the product inside. And then I actually bought this pretty recently. This is a beautiful, see it's doing the same thing as the Phytosurgeons. It's kind of getting waxy on top. I bought this like not even six months ago. This is RMS and it's like the most beautiful beige color. It is Spell. I need to get more use out of that, but I kind of want to like put it in the microwave. 
<laughs> which is blasphemy for RMS because we mustn't overheat their actives. This is the liquid flush from, oh, what is her name? Monica Blunder. I'm just gonna pass that along. It's not really doing me any favors, but it's not old. This is completely in the package. Lip and Cheek from Milk. Beauty Pie, you are expired. And more Aether. So that's... That's 20 that I'm getting rid of out of that drawer. Passing along five out of that drawer. And keeping 10 out of that drawer. For being the category that I was dreading the most, I, there are still ones that I'm dreading, but I was dreading that the most. I'm glad that it's over. I'm exhausted. That's it for today. Next, we're gonna do, oh, I mean, we got all sorts of stuff. We still have eyeshadow, eyeshadow singles, mascaras, brow products eyeliners, lip liners. They should go pretty fast with the exception of the eyeshadows, but the next big, big thing is gonna be eyeshadows. And you know what? That's a tomorrow problem. This, 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 this is a right now problem that I need to go solve. So anyway, I love y'all. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.